guys, so today I'm showing you how to do a braid out and I'm uber duper excited like every other time But this one I'm extra excited about because this is how I achieve all of my curls I just really like the way my hair looks when I have a braid out So I thought I'd show you guys how I achieve them to start off with you need coconut oil I have organic coconut oil that is extra virgin coconut oil I'm using my handy dandy shea butter mixture that I always have and then the last thing that you'll need is water. This is my hair after I have stretched my hair. To start off, I just section my hair, but first I have to find my part. I think I want it to be on this side today, so I'm going to section it like this. Begin by separating your hair into two separate halves and then pin them one side up. After pinning that side up, split that half that is out into another half and pin the back up. Spritz your hair. Don't spritz it too much because you don't want it to revert back to being too curly. And do the same thing with the coconut oil and then repeat with your shea butter or whatever moisturizer you want to use. So, see, I'm just gonna put through my hair about how much shea butter I'm using. To begin your braid, just separate your hair into three sections like this. Okay, so you have three separate sections. Then begin to go under with this section. And then go over this side section. And then with the middle braid, just grab hair as you go. See this middle part right here? That one right there, just grab hair and continue to go and you keep going in that fashion until you reach the end. So now that you've got your first braid done, just continue with the rest of the section. to the other side and I just split this half into another half again then I just pin this half back grab some of my hair right here and then I'll just begin to braid Now I have the first half of my hair done, and I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven braids, that's all. And now it's on to the hard part, the back of my head, which is where I get lazy. Beginning with the back of my head, I will separate my hair into two separate halves. And then after the hair is separated, I'll just pick out parts that I want to be down at the bottom or up at the top. Then I will tie the top section up. With my bottom section, I'm just going to pin it up and then apply the water, shea butter, and coconut oil and then begin to braid. With the top half, just continue as you did with the bottom half. I'm finally done with all of my hair, and if you're wondering why I do the separate sections on the back, it is so that I can have a lot of the bounce in the back of my head, so that when I shake my head, it's nice and full and big, and more of my hair is defined. For the last step on my braid out, I just take these things and I wrap them around the ends of my hair because I don't like when it is just straight at the end instead of having a curl at the end. All you gotta do is put your scarf on, then I go to bed. Now it's officially the next day and I put another scarf on to cover the back of my braids. So now I'm just gonna take it down. 
begin by taking out all the curlers. take a little bit of the coconut oil and rub it on my hands so that I can lessen the amount of frizz. So I put about this much coconut oil on my hands and I'm just gonna rub it through my hair and work my way from the back to the front while taking down my braids. I always take these front two braids down last because I like to see what my hair looks like with them and then if I don't like it with them then I just take them down also. after it is all taken down my curls are clearly defined and absolutely gorgeous it's got plenty of bounce and fullness and I just love it that's my braid up thanks for watching I really hope that you enjoyed it so smile and be happy and enjoy your day